pal. So next, let's add a slightly more complex rhythm. Actually, who came in here thinking they were getting a drum lesson? You can pay on the way out. <laughs> so anyway, next we've got a rhythm which starts after beat three. This is a very common sample one. Right? In a minute, Anik will demonstrate. So this is the new rhythm. One, two, three. And beat three on a different sound. So we get this. Could you play the pattern, please?
really simple, right? Yeah, of course, it's fairly straightforward. Um, everything is playing together. So we took it from that stage. We took it a stage further now, and you actually, those of you who have seen Jim Chapin's um, contemporary um, drum, uh, the, the blue and red book, anyway, the Jazz Independence book, um, you'll recognize this is a similar sort of format, but just using the different stickings. Then we played straight eighth notes against the risable pattern. Take it up a little bit in tempo. Got the feeling my dad's gonna come over in a minute and chuck me off. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Can you all check your watches? I'm fed up and going up there. <laughs> <laughs> He's the guy with the big umbrella that <laughs> pulls you off. Here we go. This is the uh, this is the um, straight eighth notes against the jazz rising pattern. Take it up a You'll notice also that um, I'm trying to play music. The actual independence, the actual, sorry, the internal dynamics of what I'm playing are pretty, um, hopefully, right as well. I'm not playing this. It sounds a little bit too harsh, a little bit too um, staccato. Uh, but take it to the next stage. Let's play the whole thing. This is where it gets slightly more tricky. This is where we play triplets against the so against the right symbol pattern. So now we're playing the whole sticking for four bars, right left, right left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, um, against the right symbol pattern, but as eighth note triplets. I'm sure all the non-drummers are up with this as well. Here we go. Might be a bit fast, we'll try it. It gets even harder. <laughs> we now change the right foot for the left foot. And then this is when it gets tricky because I'm right handed and uh, left feet don't tend to work very well. Right footed football players sometimes have the same problem. Same for drums. So we're going to play the same thing now, but it's actually a little bit more musical as well. And this is getting into one of sort of the, the realms of one of my favourite drummers, Elvin Jones, does this kind of thing as well. So have a listen to this. I'll play the whole thing straight through now as just a, more of a little solo um, exercise. So we're going to start off with the shuffle rhythm between the hi hat and snare drum, straight eighth notes between the hi hat and snare drum, and then parallels between the two. Have a listen to this. Thank you. 
much. I'm just going to change the stage around now. We're going to get uh, Carla. We're going to tear it up. Then we're going to get the band on, and we'll tear it up together. Thank you very much.